Saka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make the most delicious tamarind balls. Hey darlings, it's so nice to be back here in the kitchen. This time we have my godmother showing me how she makes her tamarind balls. I shared a quick little sneak peek over on my Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen and a lot of you asked me for a recipe so I went to the OG herself. Here I'm just watching her peel some tamarind and yes my darlings, this is how we prep it ready for the tamarind balls so you peel it remove that outer shell any threads any skin whatever and then we're gonna start kneading it with some sugar Just to save some time, my godmother had already peeled some tamarind from since morning because it takes a little while to do and then she just added in the fresh tamarind that we just peeled. All she'll be doing is adding in some sugar and kneading it in to form a dough. Now I was asking her a bit earlier how long does it take to knead this and process it and you know get it all nice and ready and she said to me sometimes it can take about 40 to 45 minutes. It's a lot of kneading but trust me it's a labor of love and the results are absolutely amazing After kneading for about 30 minutes, she gave my husband a taste and he said it was really, really good. I tried it, but I find that it needed a little bit more sugar and she went in with some more sugar and a little pinch of salt. I find that the salt really helps to cut back on the sourness of the tamarind. But yes, add sugar because it really takes a lot of sugar, I will admit. It's gonna go ahead and knead it one more time until all the sugar dissolves. And yes, my loves, this is how it's coming along long really really simple all you need is your fresh tamarind your sugar a pinch of salt knead it until it becomes light and airy and whew, just so so good Now that our tamarind is nicely processed, she's going to section it into small pieces and roll it into small balls. These are sort of equal sized and she's been doing this for such a long time that she sort of knows what amount to pinch off. Never made it before if I'm being very honest with you so I was really fascinated with the process as well and I just really hope you guys are loving it. We're actually filming this underneath her mango tree out so you can see the sun, you can see all the nice little things going on and it is absolutely amazing. Let me know if they make this where you're from let me know if you've tried this before the one she's rolled it out to form the dough ball like this she's gonna go ahead and put it in some more sugar that is going to coat it and the sugar helps to prevent it from sticking to each other and this is how tamarind balls are made i've always wanted to know how they make this so this tutorial is actually for you guys and also for myself to go back to but yes coat it really well in the sugar it should look so 
something like this. Let me know if you've tried tamarind balls before. It's been such a pleasure having you here in my kitchen and I can't wait to see you in my next one. I also want to say thank you so much to my godmother for filming this with me. I love her so very much and yes my darlings. We're also just going to bag it up and this is just going to take you straight back to your childhood if you've ever had these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye bye!